All right, spring is in the air. We're assembling lawn sweeper just picked up right here. Now, shout out to Allfit. They did such a great job with their instructions. And you have step one, all the hardware is labeled in steps. Now, picked up this, it's not, I, I'm not done with this, but picked up this dethatcher. This is Agrifab. And they put all the hardware in two bags and they just tell you, you know, carriage bolt, lock nuts, that kind of stuff. And they give you the measurements. But it's a pain in the ass because they don't give you, um, you know, like a, the sizing on like, for instance, like here shows you the size. So the amount of times that I've had to redo that because I don't have the knowledge of a hardware store. I don't know exactly the slightest differences. Uh, but anyway, that's getting assembled. Taking a break from that. That needs to get assembled later. Got to clean up the lawn. Um, I make, um, you know, fixed spots where I kind of plowed it up and stuff like that. This thing is running like a champ. Picked this up last week. It's a Lesco 48. This is going to be like my backup mower. I've got a couple properties that are like in wooded areas. They're rough. Um, guy custom built this himself. He, I guess this mower is pretty much dead. The motor was dead. He took motor off of John Deere. So now it's an 18 horse. I'm waiting on a sulky for this. Um, but the thing flies. It's only a less than two hours since he redid this. I'm not sure how many hours on the original mower, but it was um, off one of those like GT uh, John Deere tractors. Um, but thing runs awesome. It's good. 800 bucks. Uh, so I kind of wanted $1,000 um, for a backup mower. Um, with, the, with the sulky, I'm kind of there. I'm a little over. No big deal. Gotta get this thing up and running. Um, gotta clean out the salt spreader, uh, fertilizer seed, lime, that kind of stuff going down. A couple bags of topsoil. There's one um, one guy I'm doing a cleanup for. I noticed I left like a little divot in his lawn from plowing. I'm gonna fix that um, this weekend for him. And that's about it. Oh. I've been curious to see. Everybody says these things work decently. I kept looking and looking on like Marketplace for one that's, uh, you know, I get a half price. This is like 400 bucks uh, at Home Depot. That was like an Amazon like uh, lightning sale. I think it was like 119, but it was originally like two. So. Yeah, we'll see how they do. There's some thatchy parts in this lawn. Uh, same thing as some of the customers. Come on, we're gonna do a little cleanup, try and do that, see how that works. Sweep up the um, the miscellaneous stuff with this, and um, next week we're gonna get a ton of rain. So uh, overseed, pat, uh, do some batch repair work. Uh, hit it with uh, the fertilizer to see how. They um, see how we can fix this. You can see, we're just like this is the regular one. Here, this whole area here is. Uh, this is like gonna be my my work area. I want to gravel this. Um, I want to gravel this. I tried putting building like a little pad for the plow last season before the winter. Uh, over the summer, I tried, and this whole area is it's too uneven. So I just want to put gravel down, compact the gravel, put the plow over here. 
have a trailer here. I want to pick up another trailer at some point. Love to get an enclosed trailer. Um, and just have this be like the little outdoor storage area. Uh, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Everything's prices are sky high and everything, so it's not a it's not a super priority if you know things come along or at the right price. I'll snag them up just like I did with that thing. I'm actually excited for that because uh, that's really quick with that. Uh, in, with the uh, it used to have a 12 horse on it, now it has an 18, so not bad.